everybody, and welcome to Top Comics to Pre-Order in a Flash. I'm Andy. I'm Matt. We're here with Infinity Flux Comics. I'm going to tell you about all the exciting stuff coming up uh, for ordering this coming week. But this is our short show, so we're going over 10 books that we want to make sure you don't miss out on. Get your uh, orders in early, and uh, then check out everything else when we do Comics from the Future this Friday. We'll be going over pretty much everything uh, that's on on order for the week. But this is our short show, so let's get into some of the exciting books coming out. Starting with Dark Droids, Star Wars Dark Droids. I'm very excited about this one. This is the next big event book for Star Wars. Uh, it's about a thing called What is the Scourge? Is it a person? Is it a droid? But it's something that is spreading throughout the droids, both on the the Empire and the Rebellion, that is looks like turning them kind of bad. I'm excited to see what happens with this. But, uh, yep, if you want to get on board for the next big Star Wars event, that is Dark Droids on order this weekend. Blade number one. This is the start of a brand new Blade ongoing series. Uh, this is uh, going to feature... Uh, Blade. I don't know if his daughter's going to be there. That's where I was going with that. But um, but there's an ancient power that's being been lying dormant under the city for who knows how long, and Blade accidentally uh, wakes it up, and uh, that's going to and then that's going to then unleash the entire supernatural underworld uh, on the entire city, maybe larger. Uh, so this is done. The art in this is by Elena Casagrande, who did Black Widow, which is really great. So if you're looking for uh, a new Blade story, this is the one to get. And next up, a new Red Sonia. This is Red Sonia 2023. A uh, new creative team of Tarun Gronbeck, who is your writer on Thor. Uh, but in this one, it picks up right after the free comic book day. So if you picked up that Red Sonia issue zero, picks up right after that where Red Sonia has been, uh, she is framed for murder. And, uh, but is it have to do with something, a mysterious voice in her head? Uh, mm -hmm. Was it controlling her? We don't know. But if you want to jump onto a new Red Sony series, this is the one. Fish Flies, number one. This is the new book from Jeff Lemire, both written and drawn by him. There is a violent crime that sets off a, a chain of events in Ontario. Uh, there's a young girl named Franny Fox who forms a friendship with a fugitive. Franny Fox forms a friendship with a fugitive. I just realized that. Uh, but it leads them on an odyssey of discovery and redemption. Now that sounds kind of like just a, a you know like a, a mystery, like crime noir. But the cover has some weird looking fly creature on it, so I think there's some kind of supernatural uh, element to it as well. Um, and if you want to check out uh, some of the pages in this book, there are some preview pages on Previews World that you can that you can look at. And next up, we have our next What If Dark. So this is What If Dark Spider-Gwen. If you can't tell from the cover, it's what if Peter had died uh, in the famous Death of Gwen Stacy story. Well, this one, Peter dies. This is written by Jerry Conway, who is the original writer of Death of Gwen Stacy. But what, what about this event is going to lead her to become Spider-Gwen? Don't know, but it sounds really cool. Uh, I'm very excited about this one and for all of the What If Dark oh, stuff yeah. to start. The Ribbon Quest number one. This is uh, going to be an eight-issue limited series written by Garth Ennis. Uh, there's an NYPD detective named Amy Sun, and she's investigating uh, kind of a corrupt group of cops, or what she thinks is a corrupt group of cops, in her precinct. But unbeknownst to her, there is a force of vengeance that's older than humanity itself that is also after this same uh, group of of possibly corrupt cops as well. This uh, this does sound very supernatural as well. There is, you know, crime noir, but also horror, supernatural kind of thing. Uh, and if that's your uh, thing, then a pre-order this weekend. Yep. Ribbon Queen. I think you said Ribbon Quest. Oh. Which is what they're doing in it. They're going to go on the Ribbon Quest. They're going to go on a Ribbon Quest, yeah. yeah. Okay, next up we have Amazing Spider-Man issue 31. So this one is special. It's going to be an oversized issue. It's going to be $9.99. So I'd like to, everyone to kind of forewarn them, this is going to be a big issue. Big boy. Uh, it's going to be covering the wedding of Tombstone and uh, uh, Robbie Robertson's daughter, or his son, his son. and Tombstone's daughter right. having a wedding. Peter Parker is going to be the best man. Of course, this isn't going to go well. But the other big thing is, one, there's a classified John Tyler Christopher cover that's going to be one of those uh, color bleed or negative space variants. 
And they're saying this is going to be setting up the next big event for Amazing Spider-Man. So this could be any number of things on this cover. First new costume, first character. We don't know. We honestly have no idea whatsoever. No guesses or anything. No. So if you like to, uh, you know, play on the wild side, you like to uh, uh, make some bets, you can pick up this really, I'm sure, going to be a very cool cover for Amazing Spider-Man 31. Antarctica number one. Uh, this is described as Stargate meets his dark materials, which is two properties I would never put together. It's about a girl named Hannah who was left alone after her father uh, went missing or didn't come back from this research station in, Antarct in Antarctica. Um, she trains herself uh, to become an engineer and gets a, a job at that same research station so that she can look into her father's disappearance but it she ends up uncovering this really large conspiracy instead. So that sounds really cool. Next up is Alice Never After. This is following up from Alice Ever After by Dan Panosian. Uh, a very, um, they describe it as uh, the, explores the morbid side of escapism. As we saw that Alice was maybe in an asylum and some of the creatures in Wonderland were some of the other inmates there, the other patients or security guards. It's a very dark, twisted take on Alice in Wonderland, but the story is continuing with Alice Never After. So if you're a fan of that first series, you'll want to jump on to the new one. Godzilla Monsters and Protectors Summer Smash. This is a one-shot. <laughs> Sounds actually really fun. Uh, it's about a boy named Cedric who's really excited about being on summer vacation, but he doesn't get to enjoy that vacation for very long before aliens attack, there's evil robots, giant monsters pop up, uh, but where is Godzilla? That's the big question. Where is Godzilla to help take care of this? We don't know, but if you want to find out, then a pre-order this weekend. And that is all for our Top Conks to pre-order in a flash. You can head over to infinityflux.net where you can pre-order these right now. We want to give you plenty of head, uh, head start pre-ordering these. Now, we'll be doing comics from the future on Friday. The thing about that is some of the stuff is not locked down. Uh, some things could change. Covers could alter a little bit. But for the most part, uh, we don't think these should change too much. But just to make sure, check out Comics from the Future where you'll see these. You'll see all the variant covers and many other books coming out. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. And until next time. See you. Bye.